Eskines was a Greek statesman and one of the ten Attic orders. Although it is known he was born in Athens, the records regarding his parentage and early life are conflicting, but it seems probable that his parents, though poor, were respectable. Eskines' father was a trauma use, an elementary school teacher of letters. His mother Glaucidia assisted in the religious rites of initiation for the poor. After assisting his father in his school, he tried his hand at acting with indifferent success, served with distinction in the army, and held several clerkships, amongst them the office of clerk to the Brule. Among the campaigns that Eskines participated in were Phileas in the Peloponnese, 368 BC, Battle of Mantinea, 362 BC, and Phocian's campaign in Abia, 349 BC. The fall of Olympus, 348 BC, brought Eskines into the political arena, and he was sent on an embassy to rouse the Peloponnese against Philip II of Macedon. In spring of 347 BC, Eskines addressed the assembly of 10,000 in Megalopolis, Arcadia urging them to unite and defend their independence against Philip. In the summer 347 BC, he was a member of the peace embassy to Philip, who seems to have won him over entirely to his side. His dilatoriness during the second embassy, 346 BC, sent to ratify the terms of peace led to him being accused by Demosthenes and Timarchus on a charge of high reason. Eskines countered act by claiming that Marchus had forfeited the right to speak before the people as a consequence of youthful debauches which had left him with a reputation of being a whore and prostituting himself to many men in the port city of Piraeus. The suit succeeded and Demarchus was sentenced to Atomia and politically destroyed, according to Demosthenes. This comment was later interpreted by Pseudo-Plutarch in his Lives of the Ten Orators as meaning that Marcos hanged himself upon leaving the assembly, a suggestion contested by some modern historians. This oration, against Amarchus, is considered important because of the bulk of Athenian laws it cites. As a consequence of his successful attack on Amarchus, Eskines was cleared of the charge of treason. In 343 BC the attack on Eskines was renewed by Demosthenes in his speech on the false embassy. Eskines replied in a speech with the same title and was again acquitted. In 339 BC, as one of the Athenian deputies, Pelagri, in the Amphictyonic Council, he made a speech which brought about the Fourth Sacred War. By way of revenge, Eskines endeavored to fix the blame for these disasters upon Demosthenes. In 336 BC, when Ctesiphon proposed that his friend Demosthenes should be rewarded with a golden crown for his distinguished services to the state, Eskines accused him of having violated the law in bringing forward the motion. The matter remained in abeyance till 330 BC when the two rivals delivered their speeches against Ctesiphon and on the crown. The result was a complete victory for Demosthenes. Eskines went into voluntary exile at Rhodes, where he opened a school of rhetoric. He afterwards removed to Samos, where he died aged 75. His three speeches, called by the ancients the Three Graces, rank next to those of Demosthenes. Phocius knew of nine letters by him which he called the Nine Muses, the twelve published under his name, Hercher, Epistolographi Grissi, are not genuine.